Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. This is the segment, as they say, where we look at momentum stocks with Mike Vodica, our momentum stock analyst at Zach's.com. He stops by at least once a week here on Zach's.com to kind of update <laughs> us on a couple of momentum stock picks that he's had uh, his attention drawn to for whatever reason. One of them, Lifeway Foods, L-W-A-Y, the ticker symbol you wrote about recently. What's going on with this company? This is kind of an interesting company here. Um, what they do is they they um, develop ma- or manufacture, sell um, new, uh, specialty dairy products, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, so their, their biggest product is something called kefir, which is comparable to yogurt slash or a, a smoothie. Yeah, kind I've of seen like. it. Oh, really? You're familiar with that? I've seen it. I've not okay. eaten it. Uh, yeah. Partaken. <laughs> uh, I always get skeptical about those kind of products. You know, like, give me what I know. Give me milk, yeah. cheese. <laughs> exactly. You know? It's kind of like that, but a little bit different. And their their edge, their angle is that they uh, add nutritional supplements into the product, uh, mm-hmm. calcium and potassium. So it's a healthy, healthier version of some of those things. Um, it's a it's a smaller company, a market cap of only two hundred and thirty six uh, million. So it falls into the category of a micro cap, but. It's not necessarily that new. They've been around for 23 years, so it's not like a new, trendy company. They've got, got a, nice, a nice sales history. Mm-hmm. Um, now, what I thought was interesting about this company is that out of all the companies I look at, uh, very rarely right now am I seeing um, year-over-year sales growth. A lot of times we're seeing growth in income, and a lot of that comes from companies cutting costs, things of that nature. But this company, they produce really strong sales growth year over year. Um, their first quarter results, sales were up 24% from last year, and it, that's kind of a reflection of people or the, of, of the society becoming a little bit more conscious about health. Well, it really goes to the stability of their business, too. Absolutely, definitely, yeah. Um, and so they produced the solid earnings, which was $0.09 cents against the expectation of $0.03. Cents. Mm-hmm. Um, and their CFO said that this was the best quarter that they've had in 23 years of business. Okay. That's a pretty solid endorsement. Yeah. Um, now, one thing I wanted to mention about this, this stock is that it doesn't come cheap. <laughs> it's, it's trading at 47 times current year earnings, and that's a, a fairly steep premium to the overall market, which is probably trading about 14 So what does that mean in terms of dollars and cents? Well, the current year estimate, I think, is pegged at about 31 cents here. And typically, you're looking for somewhere between like a 12 to 15 multiple. So this kind of a stock, if you were to purchase on a short-term basis, you may have to wait a couple of years to kind of see the return. Okay. Um, and and the, what it translates to on the chart here uh, is, you know, the valuations that we just talked about uh, is it's had a really big run-up in just the last couple months. Uh, starting in March, it was trading right around $6, and then recently it topped off at 15 so it's more than doubled, and that's why it's as pricey as it is. Just in the last couple of days, uh, it started to come down a little bit, so it's a more attractive buy at those levels. So, and obviously, by looking at the chart, you haven't seen anything that indicates to you that it's going to be losing steam anytime soon. Um, well, like I said, it has kind of pulled back just in the last oh, couple of days. Yeah, okay. it has pulled back a little bit, and I think that part of that has to do with the valuation picture. It did look a little bit pricey, um, but eventually the market will find a, med- a medium point. Investors will come back in, and they'll move it back up. Okay. And then there's Rhino International Corporation, R-I-N-O, the ticker symbol. They design, manufacture, and service industrial pollution. No, industrial pollution control system. <laughs> you have to figure out, finish reading no, the that sentence. Was, you're right on. That's exactly what they do. Uh, it was kind of an interesting company. Again, um, they're out of China, and they produce these pollution control systems, and their specialty towards um, what is it, steel and the iron ore industries. Yeah. You know, because they have so many byproducts of their production process, and and China's kind of um, you know been under the been on the radar. People, you know, a lot of the international community is saying you need to make sure that you're taking you're following uh, environmental regulatory policies. Green, got to be green. Exactly, that's a great way of summing up. You got to be green. Um, so this is a company that plays off that dynamic. Um, similar market cap to the previous company we talked about, 238 million. So it's a micro cap, um, and again. Uh, this is another company that produced robust sales growth year over year. Um, being a Chinese stock, some of these Chinese stocks have been like explosive. They're producing some serious growth numbers. Um, this company's first quarter results, sales are up 87% year over year. I mean, that's a very solid production. Right. Um, earnings came in at 50 cents. It, uh, their analysts were, there's only one covering analyst, but he was looking for 39 cents, so that's a nice beat right there. Um, the, one of the representatives from the company said that all three business segments experience growth, so that shows some diversity across business segments. Um, and then moving forward a little bit here, they have a strong balance sheet. They have $48 million cash on the books. 
Um, different than the previous company we talked about is this has very low valuations. This is only trading at five times earnings, which is a really solid value proposition considering you know, I was what... I going to say, you say it as though it's not a good thing. That, that it's, a good that's thing. a great thing, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you want to pay the lowest multiple possible, and a lot of these Chinese stocks get so overcooked at the multiples, like, you know, you wouldn't want to pay up for it. But this one only trading at five times, so that definitely falls into the value category. Mm -hmm. Um, and then moving on to the chart, what it all translates into is that the share price is up uh, 400% in the last three months. It, it took off from $2 in just May and recently topped off at 10 bucks. so a pretty big move. Do you own either of these two? Uh, no, I don't. All right. What it all translates to is momentum, at least when we talk to Mike. And if you want to check out more momentum stocks that Michael's written about in the recent past, go to our homepage, zax.com. Check over in the upper right-hand corner, as we always tell you. That's where we keep the Zacks Rank Buy stock picks. And the latest headline next to the momentum listing will take you to his current story as well as an archive of some other story stocks that he's written about in the recent past. With Michael Vodica, I'm Terry Ruffalo.